Hey everybody, welcome AWSI 2024. We were fortunate to run into Rafael here at F1. Hey Rafael, how's your day so far? Ah, fine. We are, we don't have much wind, but then we have time to talk, you know, about products. We are there, we are there for that. We can speak a little bit about our wind, wing range. Uh, we having four models, uh, to satisfy every practice, you know. Um, Five years ago, when the sport started, everybody was a beginner. But today, you are beginner, but you also have world champion. And we need to satisfy every level of rider and customer. So we have um, one model that is the origin. It's the model you should start when you learn. And for you, maybe first year or first two years. The advantage with the origin is that getting on the plane is really easy really intuitive, the wing is really light, and when you fly on a foil, the origin model will have a limited speed. Uh, it's not that easy to limit the speed on the foil, but it's important for the people that start, because if you go too fast, it's difficult to control a foil. So if you are new into the sport, the origin is the model you need. Then we have a second model, the swing, that is more about control in more rough condition, like more wind, getting a little bit more overpower, going to the wave, going to rough condition, then you have a lot of control with the swing. The third model is the strike, and the strike is all about performances. So going fast, acceleration, going high for freestyle, doing maneuvers, going up real fast but it's also a really good the strike is also really good for free fly coming back free fly and we have a separate model the cwc that is really light wind oriented so it's only big size six seven eight and nine square meter and it's a three strut pattern that we have since uh, the beginning and they're really efficient in uh, super light wind it's really the best model you can find for the light wind uh, conditions. Let's take a look at them. Yes. I think we got them all set up right behind us here. Yeah. So do you want to go check out the origin first? Yes. So that's the origin. It's light. It's a little bit more flexible than the other model, you know, like your pumping will be more easy, more comfortable, riding will be comfortable, you will have really, really good control of your speed. Then we go to the swing. This is what I learned on. Look at that, eh? Swing was our first model, you know, five years ago. So our swing is more, a little bit more compact and all about control. And well, as well, quite light, good for free flying, good for surfing, but really good control. Can we take a look at those handles? Uh, yeah, we have soft handles, but okay. you can adapt rigid handles or a boom. So you have the choice because Handle is something really personal, you know. Some I like the soft handle. Some people like the hard handle. Freestyler love the boom because they want to do handle passes. So it's really personal, and we offer all choices. Okay, thank you. The strike. Ah, yes. That's some beautiful colors. Yeah, colors are important. Oh yeah, they are. The strike is more like going fast, going up wind, going high for the jump, uh, going over power. The strike like to be over power as well, even if we have a really good low end, a really good way to get on the plane. So it's the strike is the model Chris McDonald. Yeah, he's using uh, his world champion, freestyle yeah. world champion, and what they are doing now with freestyle, with the wing and the foil, it's super impressive. Do you ever imagine it would get to that level? No. <laughs> no. no. I'm too old to imagine what the kids can do. 
All right, and then we have, so, I have a bunch of friends in Canada riding this CWC. Yeah, CWC, it's the light wind machine. And normally when you have a six, seven, eight, or even nine square meter, you always have the tip of the wing eating the water because the, the spam is huge. But we managed to design something where you don't have to worry about the tip of the wing touching the water even if you have a huge uh, area to carry. Uh, thanks to the Alula, uh, we have gained some weight. So you, if you use a six or seven, you will feel more like a smaller wing, you know, which is good to have something light and easy to twist when you are doing tacks or jives. Now, I know you were mentioning that a lot, that all of these are currently available on the market. Is yeah. there anything we can touch on? Maybe refinements for next year that's coming up or? Yeah. Uh, we've been changing the four models for 24. So they're all new and okay. we will refresh the origin and the CWC and swing and strike. They will be totally new uh, next year. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Julian from F1 here. So yeah, I'm going to talk you through the F1 range a little bit without going too much in details. Um, I guess the most well-known and successful foil that we have in the range right now is a skate. It's also the most versatile. That's probably why it came out a year and a half ago, but it's still, you know, selling really well, mostly because you can use a skate for pretty much anything from winging, cruising, freestyling, downwinding, surf foiling, even though it's really made for surf foiling in waves. Um, so really versatile. This year, what we did is that we introduced two new tails, two new, two new stabilizers, 140 and 160. And I think these go really well with the skate because we went a little bit smaller in surface and a little bit longer in fuselage. So that gives that really good pitch stability that you want in a surfing wing, um, while staying really maneuverable, uh, and very stable. Then, we also have a new baby for downwinding. This is the Eagle X. So this is basically our Eagle, but boosted with a new outline, new aspect ratio. We went from 9 to 12. Um, this, I would say, is really made for downwinding, whether it's with a wing or with a sub, but the real um, add-on is like it's actually very maneuverable. So you can go on a downwind, but you, you won't have to go straight and chase the bumps, you know. You're going to have a lot of glide, but you will be also able to carve and have fun. Because when we do a foil at F1, we want, you know, the customer to have a lot of fun, have something quite versatile. So we just don't want to sell a foil that has a lot of glide and that goes straight. Um, so we introduced quite a lot of maneuverability in this one. So yeah, it's one of my favorites. Um, 72 kilos, maybe 74 after the US trip. <laughs> after today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I ride the 800, both on the sub and with the wing. It's one of my favorites. We have downwind tails to go with it. The 145 is, is the one I would recommend. This is the smallest for the moment in the range. Uh, excess fuselage. That will give you plenty of glide and still the maneuverability you want to have fun. Any questions on this one? No, I don't, not so far. I don't see a seven C's here, but we have a new seven C's, which is a slightly bigger foil. We have 1100, 1300, 1500 in the range. This is the foil you want if you want to start. Oh, Thank there you. There we go. There it is. This is a foil you want uh, if you want to start downwinding, whether you're on the wing or you're on the sub. Um, so I would say that when you, whenever you want to start jibing on your wing, this is the foil you want. I'm testing everything on my friends and when they're on the Phantom usually to start with, and then they start to try jibing. Um, and whenever I give them these, they do much better and they improve a lot because it has that 
additional glide of a eight aspect ratio um, that really helps them to you know have time to uh, let the wing go focus on the drive you glide quite really well and then you can go back on the wing pull and then off you go so this is good for beginner but it's also a foil that I use personally on the sub I really like it um, it really easy takeoff but also the performance compared to the accessibility is really incredible. So you're going to go quite fast. You will be able to carve on small bumps. So I would say that this is the best accessibility to performance ratio we have on the range. And I would advise probably beginners, intermediate to try this one and even experts because in some lighter conditions, this is really the go-to for you for me. Now, for somebody brand new to F1, can we break down a little bit of your foil basics? So let's say how the tail attaches <laughs> and maybe even look at the little... Yeah. Because this is something that I haven't seen the from fences. other brands. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, all the F1, F1 foils are monoblock construction. So the front wing is built in with half of, a, half of the fuselage, like you can see. And the mast, the connection is uh, directly... The mask connects directly onto the monoblock front wing construction. All the tails now are monoblock, so we don't have screws in between the tail and the fuselage. That gives a lot more performance, durability, less drag, so speed, maneuverability, stability. It's pretty much everything is better, you know. Okay. So we only do that now. We completely stop the screwing um, stabilizers. We have two M6 screws here to connect, so have a really stiff uh, connection, and then three M6 screws for the mast. The little fences, we only have them on carving tails and uh, seven seas models. They, it's hard to know exactly what they do, but they help with the, the flow. You know, they help to redirect the water flow, and basically, it makes the foil a lot sounder, you know, smoother sound. And during carving, you can especially feel it. So it was really interesting. The first time we did this, we had the sample with and without. And I was like, oh, that's a joke. I'm not going to feel it. And it's really impressive, actually. There's a real difference between with and without. But now it works on the seven seas. It works on the carving tails. But we put it on all the foils and it didn't work at all. So. To be honest, we don't really know why, so we try. If it's good, then we let it. If it's not good, then we don't. That's innovation. But yeah, exactly. All right. Um, maybe we should go into anything new board-wise and yeah. wing-wise as well? In terms of foiling, we have much more models, you know. Gravity for beginner, Phantom is for intermediate level, and then, yeah, you go. Seven Seas, I talked about it, Skate, Eagle X. We will have a new foil next summer, um, next spring. And we have also some satellite products, like the Jam, with the Dog Start foil. Oh, I just tried that yesterday for the yeah. first time. This big baby here. Oh, look at that. This is the 19, 1900. We also have 1600, and we are coming up soon with the 1400. 1400 is also a really good foil to start for step downway. Anything new in the board area? Yeah, the board. So in the board range, we got the two historic models in the range that uh, we changed this year. They just got released. Wing S and Wing. These are the more compact shapes. So if you want to go more downwinding and surfing with your wing, you're going to go for the Wing S. And if you're looking more into jump and freestyling, you're going to go for the wing. So this is what Chris McDo is using mostly, and this is what Kiahi or Muna are using. Um, the difference is the outline, volume distribution, the rocker. Um, what we've done on both of these this year is we really worked on the rake angle, and, uh, and we, we provided much more slide on this model that we used to have. So even though you kind of have a compact shape, it's quite easy to take off. <laughs> we have some sub downwinds, obviously. We didn't change it, 
change them this year. Um, basically, as you know, it's long, narrow shape, really helps with taking off easily. And we found ourselves using these for winging pretty much all the time. And so we were like, hey, maybe we need to develop a new board that would be on the same shape concept, the same approach, but maybe a bit shorter. And this is a new mid lens. This is a wing specific board. <coughs> We're going from 5.8 to 6.2 for this range. This is a 6.2, so the biggest one, 120 liters. The 5.8 is 78 liters. This is a board that you want if you wing and you're looking for a light wing board that can also pretty much do it all. So that's all I use now, the 5.8. It's, it's in my quiver and I use it in light wind, but also when it's 40 knots out there because I, I really like the longer and narrower shape. So I would prefer to have something in a 6.0 range, a bit longer, but having something nine, 19, 20 inches wide maximum because I really feel like this new generation of shape give much more pitch stability and also maneuverability. So I feel sometimes myself, it's personal, but more maneuverable and more at ease on these than on any more compact shapes. But I think in the future of winging, we're going to see more and more board like that. Really, yeah? And the response on these have been phenomenal. Like we're sold out and now for, some, for somebody brand new, they're coming into winging <laughs> per se. What kind of conditions and what kind of things would you do on that? Is this more of a downwind, swell riding, wave riding, yeah. all that kind of thing? This is more of a downwind, cruising, even small wave riding board. Okay. You know, it's quite a longer shape, very very narrow compared to these, on, if you compare volume to volume. and So that will give you the glide at the start you need to get going and take off. Even in marginal conditions, even like 12 knots, you know, you can easily take off with these, depending on your level and your wing, obviously, and your yep. foil. But yeah, people start, started to use them for downwind, but once you step on these, then it's hard to go back to something else. Hmm. Um, I, I really feel like a, a narrower shape really helps with, with maneuverability more than a shorter board. So, if you like, don't hesitate to go a bit longer and narrower. It's, it's for me, it's better in every aspect. So it doesn't really matter what you want to focus on. Well, like freestyle, obviously something. No, that's that's yeah, not definitely not a freestyle board. Yeah. But if you want to cruise and you know go on bumps and go on small waves, then a mid length. If you're in the lake and you want to go in ten knots, then. This is, this is a ball. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this one. So, a walkthrough of the new foils and walkthrough of the new boards.